All this is happening with interesting timing. Turns out yesterday I talked about this particular article right here and in it it says that Warner Brothers or at least it suggests that Warner Brothers has no faith in Aquaman 2 and that's why we haven't seen any marketing on it. I mean, I'm talking no teasers, no trailers or anything like that. And this is suggesting that it's because the executives at Warner Brothers didn't have any faith in the project and were basically trying to mitigate their losses by saving money on the marketing costs. Now, in my defense, I did say that these are rumors and you should take it with a grain of salt. But I do agree that I think the executives at Warner Brothers are worried about this movie. I mean, and honestly, they should be because their last seven box office movies have been failures. So I can see why they'd be upset with this one or concerned that this one won't succeed. And I still stand by a lot of what I was saying and the reasons why I think that is. But apparently they are releasing a teaser and or they did release a teaser. And we got this article right now that talking about it and it's funny that this came out just like hours after i released my other video and i was initially going to just leave a comment that i pinned to the top of my previous video talking about that or mentioning this update but i decided to do this one instead now i was initially going to link this or show this trailer in this video even though it's only 30 seconds uh warner brothers will still strike that video if i tried to do that so i'll leave a link to it in the description below of this video right now but it is kind of interesting that they're just now releasing this trailer saying it well it's not really a trailer it's a teaser leading up to the trailer that's supposed to come out in a couple days and a lot of people are noting the timing of all this and like we got this article right now from tmz in which it's tmz so yeah you can take anything they say with a huge pinch of salt right now but Warner Brothers drops teaser trailer amid marketing rumors and according to this article right here it's basically suggesting that a lot of people were talking about it like I was talking about it with that like why haven't they had any marketing about this so why are they why aren't they doing anything does that mean that they don't think the movie is going to succeed and then this is suggesting or whatever that that's why they released it to try to quell those rumors because obviously that would be detrimental to Warner Brothers if it comes out that they think that this movie is going to be a failure which Honestly, there's other reasons why I think this movie won't do too good. I mean, multiple reshoots are one thing. I mean, that's usually not a good indicator of it. But also just from the simple fact that no one's interested in seeing this new universe anymore. I mean, like I said previously, I mean, they've had seven box office flops in a row. Now, all these can't be laid at the feet of James Gunn, but I think some of the more la uh, later ones ha can be. I mean, The Flash particularly uh, and Blue Beetle. I mean, The Flash is the biggest box office flop for DCU. I mean, actually, according to this right here, uh, the biggest superhero flop of all time, which is actually pretty bad. I mean, this says right here it's around $200 million at a loss. I mean, that number is probably closer to 300 million. I mean, I don't know how they did the math. I mean, or at least their their math is probably different than how I am. But yeah, I mean, it's either way, it it did terribly. And then Blue Beetle, the only reason that didn't lose as much is just because they didn't spend as much. Now, Aquaman 2, they spent more or on, yeah, they probably spent about as much on that as they did The Flash. Now, the question is, how is that going to do? I think it's going to do better than The Flash, just from the simple fact that Jason Momoa is a better draw at the box office than Ezra Miller. Not to mention, Ezra Miller's off-screen uh, antics kind of turned people away from that movie before it even started. But either way, I don't think Aquaman 2 is going to do too great, but I could be wrong about this one because I didn't think the first one would do too good and it made over a billion dollars globally. So maybe this new one will be a success. But I think a lot of the problems with the DC movies is the simple fact that James Gunn basically announced that he's retconning the whole thing. And this isn't the first time I've said this. I said this in my last video. I've said this on a lot of videos about DC movies that him coming in and basically saying all these movies that people go see that are built off of a shared universe. The fact that he's retconning all of them out of existence after basically after Aquaman is over just kind of puts people off from seeing the movie. They're like, well, what's the point of seeing it if it's not going to even matter? I mean, now the director of Aquaman, James Wan, has kind of come out and said like, well, the first Aquaman movie is kind of its standalone thing. So this is kind of going to be that way as well. And there's some legitimacy to that. And I think there are some people who are going to watch it. And I think it's going to be I don't I don't think it's going to be a huge bomb like the flashes but i don't think it's going to be a huge success i mean if it is a success it's going to be a very mild one but that's just my opinion i've been wrong about stuff before i mean that's the whole point of this video right here is i was wrong about something so maybe i'm wrong about this one as well but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below i mean do you think aquaman's going to succeed i mean are you actually interested in seeing it i mean do you not care i mean are you just wanting to wait until james gunn's universe starts or 
or are you just done with superhero movies in general? Let me know in the comments because I like to hear what people have to say. And if you like this video, make sure you click the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.